out, a car out of one. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your shahala. Come your shahala. I know you look at us in the state we in right now, black people on drugs, and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Shalom, Yahweh Shibi Yahweh Shabbat Rakata. This is also Madaba of the ISUPK Louisiana under the commanding general Yahana. And if you got any questions or you need counseling, you can contact ISUPK at 517-803-9993. We also have free online classes every week from Tuesday to Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. And every Saturday is the Sabbath class from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. And today we're going to be talking about the chariots in the King James Version Bible, which the so-called white man calls the UFO. We're going to start off in the book of Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying robe. So right here with Zechariah describing, he saw a flying circle. It looked like a circle to him. That's what the robe is. It was flying. Verse 2, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe, the length thereof twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. A cubic is the size from your elbow down to your middle fingertip. That's what a cubic is. And right here, he's letting you know how big it was, what he saw, the size of it. Verse 3, Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that steal it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear it shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So right here he's letting you know that judgment is coming. He's coming. Those flying, those flying things, those flying circles he sees is judgment. It's coming. Verse 4. I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. So right here is letting you know, he's coming to destroy. It's going to destroy America. That's what these so-called UFOs, how the white man, the so-called white man describes them, which is the chariots of the Most High. They're coming to destroy Next, we're going to be going to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 16. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl. And there, and they, Salaki, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it was a wheel in the middle of a wheel. So right here, Ezekiel was letting you know the color he saw. Burl is like a green, similar to green. And when he saw it, it looks like two wheels turning inside of each other. Verse 17, and they went. And they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. You know how an airplane turns? They didn't turn like airplanes. There wasn't no airplanes back then. What he meant right there is they can go forward. They can go back side to side without having to turn around. Next, we're going to be going into the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, 
the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and fury and his rebuke with the flames of fire. So right here is letting you know, Christ not coming back to hold hands and be nice and be all peaceful like your so-called Christian churches lie and tell you, like your so-called leaders tell you. Christ is coming back with fire, with anger. He's coming back to destroy him and those chariots are coming to destroy America and these heathens, these so-called nations that went against his children of Israel. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slaying of the Lord shall be many. So that's for all you people that say Christ is nice. Christ, Christ don't kill. He's letting you know he's coming back with what? With fire and his sword. What is the sword used for? A sword is used for the kill. What is fire used for? Fire is used to burn. Christ is coming back to slay many. That's what he's talking about. For all you people that don't believe that the Most High is coming back to destroy with the angels and his chariots, it's letting you know right here in the King James Version Bible that he's coming back, and he's coming back to destroy America and all these so-called heathens. And with that, I have the ISUPK security announcements. We are the ISUPK, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Rule for new brother or sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After six months period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Ties, which is a commandment, can be found in the book of Numbers, chapter 18, verse 21, and the book of Malachi, chapter three, verse eight through 10. Tent means ma'ashara in the Hebrew. 10% of every penny increase the law gives you, give to the teacher, priest fund, Free will offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. If anyone wants to become a trooper in the school, start wearing all black boots, shirt, headband, and scarf. And with that, I'm going to say shalom. When nowadays I work hard on the job, I come cross y'all, cross y'all, still like I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal. Rhyming and coke, it could be your first choice like me. You ain't getting the minimum. Yeah. It gon' dip, dip, squat, squat, five mile run. Smart manhood. Uh -huh. Hey, black women.